Welcome back to 504 Road Trips. Today we continue north on Interstate 59 beginning at the northern edge of the city of Birmingham in Jefferson County, Alabama. Exit 137 leads to the I-459 bypass of Birmingham. In our previous video we called it a loop, but it's actually a half loop or bypass around the southeast side of Birmingham. We enter the city of Trussville, a northern suburb of Birmingham. Much of Trussville's growth and development came from the Cahaba Project, a planned development of over 250 homes constructed by Franklin D. Roosevelt's Government Resettlement Administration during the 1930s. The Cahaba Project was originally planned by staff at the Alabama Polytechnic Institute to be a rural community of small farmsteads raising potatoes and vegetables. By the middle of the decade, it was decided it would be beneficial to locate the community close enough to Birmingham to commute by public transit, so the site in Trussville was chosen. About 60 existing houses were demolished with white residents moved to the Roper Hill community and cottages for African Americans built on a 40-acre tract northwest of the Cahaba Project called Washington Heights, or more commonly the 40s. Local landscape architect W. H. Kessler designed a relatively dense suburban layout with 400 houses on half to three-quarter acre lots encircling a central green space called the Mall. The design was approved in 1936 and constructed over the following two years. In all, 243 single-family houses and 44 duplexes were constructed at a total cost of $2.6 million. They were rented to approved lower middle income families for $14 to $23 per month. The village featured paved streets, sidewalks, and landscaped park areas. An entrance gateway with a covered gazebo was built at the corner of Main Street and Parkway Drive to serve as the community's front door. Most of the one and two level homes were constructed in the American four square style with brick and wood siding, pine floors, and metal roofs. Each house had electricity, hot and cold running water, and a sewer connection. Two oak saplings were given to each household to beautify their yards. During World War II, many families planted victory gardens to supplement their grocery rations. Oak furnishings and appliances were also available to renters at a nominal cost from the government. A back porch was supplied with a hose for a ringer type washer. A communal washer was also available in a separate building on the mall. Other community facilities included a swimming pool, an elementary school, and a high school all built near the mall. A co-op store was erected near the high school serving as a general store and lending library. Several churches were founded including the Holy Infant of Prague Catholic Church. The Cahaba Association, the village residents organization, elected community leaders, raised funds for civic projects, and published the Cahaba Hub newspaper. Many residents participated in an amateur softball league which made use of a lighted field on the mall. Resentment over the privileges given to residents of the government-funded Cahaba project resulted in tensions between them and the old Trussville families, many of whom lacked electricity and indoor plumbing. The presence of so many community facilities within the project limited interactions between the project's residents and their neighbors. After World War II, the government made plans to sell the houses to residents. It also offered undeveloped parcels for sale, giving veterans the first option at 10% down. The Cahaba Project was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 2002. On June 10, 1947, Trussville was incorporated as a town, and on May 31, 1957, the town officially became a city. It was on this date that the city of Trussville was adopted as the official name. Trussville currently has a population of 21,827. We enter the small town of Argo, which has a population of 4,268. In Greek mythology, Argo was a ship on which Jason and the Argonauts sailed to retrieve the Golden Fleece. 
The ship was named after her builder, Argus, who constructed the ship under the guidance of Athena. Much later, a different Argus was a manufacturer of cameras and photographic products founded in 1936 in Ann Arbor, Michigan. None of this has anything to do with the town of Argo, Alabama. We enter St. Clair County, which has a population of 88,199. Its name is in honor of General Arthur St. Clair, an officer in the French and Indian War. We enter the city of Springville, incorporated in 1880. Springville has an estimated population of 4,233. Although this is a small town, Springville was the site of the filming of two movies. In 1987, a gangster film called The Vern Miller Story, starring Scott Glenn, and in 2001, the movie Rustin, starring Meat Loaf and Zachary Ty Bryan. We conclude today's video at exit 156, Alabama Highway 23 to St. Clair Springs in Springville. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to help support our channel, please check out our merchandise at shop.spreadshirt.com slash 504 roadtrips. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, post a comment, subscribe, share and follow us on social media, and join us for our next 504 road trip.